Oh, good morning. So I'm uh, David Slaughter. I'm a professor of uh, engineering and uh, working, in the area of, working in the area of robotics for about three uh, decades or so. This project is one of the projects looking at the future of agriculture. Run at the Davis location somewhere around 20 to 25 residue trials per year. These are quite a bit different than a lot of the trials that, that we'll be looking at, you know, the demonstration, replicated research trials. The sole purpose of our residue trials is to use the product in the, uh, according to the use pattern proposed, collect the, the uh, commodity, the fruit, the grain, whatever it is, and ship that off to the laboratory for the, the analytical work, you know, the mass spec, the GC type of work to, to create the data packets to go to US EPA for registration. Dead on and vacant. Okay, so we work on a, a management of aquatic weeds here. Uh, it, that's probably not a big surprise given the, uh, the name of the facility. Uh, we also have, in addition to Brenda and I that are on campus here, our unit has three scientists in Albany that all work on biological control. The medical willow weed, the thing about willow herb, is that it is naturally tolerant to glyphosate. One of the weeds that's never ever been killed when I first got to Napa 11 years ago, they were being real tiny. Unless it's really, really tiny, very good. But once it gets any stage at all, Roundup will not. It, it'll, it'll basically stop the apical growth and all the lateral buds start to grow. So it looks like it's been mowed. I think 12 rows of almonds. There's four rows that we're standing in front of these little bit larger scattered trees. I believe they're in their fourth leaf at this point. And then there are eight rows kind of to my right that are in their third leaf, I believe. 